Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back on my content bag, y'all. Uh, just wanted to, like, have a quick, you know, conversation to get my thoughts on, um, another topic that I've been seeing as of late is, um, the whole 50-50 versus the 100% thing. And it's more so been a, a huge conversation in the black community, but just all over social media and on Twitter. So, me, myself, I'm a young 23-year-old. Um, I'm bringing in some money. But with me bringing in money and starting a business, you know, the average, you know, 20 people in their 20s, despite what social media says, the average people in their 20s and below are broke. People, A lot of people in their 30 are broke. Average person in their 30 is broke. So... When you see, like, conversations, and I'm just saying from my experience, when you see conversations of, you know, uh, people, like, young women demanding that, you know, a relationship be 100% rather than 50-50, it's okay with having that type of opinion or having that, um, that on your wish list, but it's not realistic at all because most things... For in order for like most men, especially like in the black community, for most men to reach a level to whatever you know they can take care of everything a hundred percent. Realistically, shit like that takes time. Um, you don't just become a multi millionaire and be able to take care of your family overnight. That's often why you know you see a lot of young women end up going after older men who are already established and shit. Now, I'm not making this video to say like you know. People, women who feel like, you know, they want 100% rather than 50-50 is wrong, but it's not realistic when it, when you when you come to average. Like, you know, if that's the case, a lot of y'all are going to be competing with, like, 10% of the population because only 10%, 10%, well, really 1% of the people make majority of all the money in the world. Now, personally... I definitely want to get to a point to where, you know, my wife, my future wife is uh, the nurturer of my family. You know, I'm more so, you know, just taking care of them while, you know, they're while she's at home taking care of my kids and whatnot and taking care of my family and shit. But it's a process. Like, I don't want to say, like, you know, conversations like these in the black community, especially on social media is a reason why we never fucking get nowhere because we have dumbass conversations like this and we don't have real realistic conversations that actually lead to anything other than just arguing you know about dumb shit um most people like especially like in my community the best way to go about you know the whole 50 100 percent is do what's, what works best for you um, and in most cases, a lot of people, are not, a lot of women are not going to like this answer or like, like this solution. But most people starting out, you're going to have to start out 50-50. The average person is not making $100,000, let alone $50,000 by themselves. It's just not realistic, especially when you're young. But what you could do is, um, but what you could do is you could, uh, Work together, set out, set, get with your significant other and your spouse, and put together a plan to where y'all are working together and working towards a specific goal. So let's say you know both of y'all are working currently, but by the time y'all reach a certain goal or a certain savings amount, maybe you can go start a business or maybe you can go, you know, go to college or. Go get a high paying skill to where you're doing numbers and doing laps around shit. So, more so just be strategic. And the biggest thing when it comes to this 100% versus and versus 50, 50 is what I would say the biggest issue is having kids out of wedlock. A lot of people be having kids out of wedlock and Especially when they're young and making their lives a lot harder. And I know because I'm currently in college and, you know,
know, I recently, you know, got out of high school like five years ago. Like, I've seen more people's life be fucked up, and the people who do the most arguing and about the 100% 50-50 are traditionally single parents. And that's not the bad single parents, but a lot of people, if you don't, if you, if you don't come from money. Or come for, you know, to where your bills are going to be taken care of. Having a kid when you're broke is some of the stupidest, dumbest things that you could possibly do. It's like a quick way to, uh, it's a quick way to, you know, uh, hinder your growth. It'll put you 50 steps back if you let it. <laughs> for real. Like, if you think life is hard, you know, take care of yourself as a single adult. Try doing that shit with a kid without the parent, the, uh, without the other parent being there to help you. It's hard as hell. A lot of people don't really understand that until it actually happens. So if you can, I would definitely recommend avoid having kids out of wedlock, especially if you don't, if you, if your financial situation. And I stress this, I stress this with my own family members. I've even stressed this with some of my closest friends. I've cut some of my closest friends off. Because I told them, it's like, yo, like, yo, if your money not right, why are you having kids? It makes no sense to me. That's just me, though. But, hey. And then also, like, you know, having kids with people who are not really fit to have kids. A lot of people just be having sex just to have sex and then get mad when the person who they had sex with is not the person who they wanted them to be when they kind of most people pretty much know them from know that from the jump and there's so much it's easier just to have sex with a condom but hey but yeah y'all that's my thoughts on the whole 100 percent versus 50 50 personally um i'm gonna get to that point to where i'm taking care of everything but everything is a, it takes a process for the average person it take, it's a process. Even if you have money now. Because, like, you know, I got a little, you know, a little something, something now. But it's like, you know, I'm not going out my way to go start a family and go take care of like, bro. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you see on social media are enabling people to be, to cripple themselves even more. When, you know, you can, you know, just slow and steady wins the race. But also, never forget, money loves speed. I hope this video was very helpful. Definitely subscribe and share. And yeah. Peace.